Hello. Hi, everybody. Tracy Weinzapfel live in my studio. And I'm waiting for somebody to pop on. Leave me a comment. Let me know I'm alive and well. All right. Let's uh, log in over here. Uh oh. I got to, sorry. I got to mute my something's dangling. Okay. Hi, Lisa with two S's. Thank you so much for that beautiful email today. I so appreciated that. Hi, Kathy, Patricia, Brenda, Kelly. You guys are live in my studio right now. Oh, I got to turn myself down. <coughs> okay, excuse me if I cough. I'm still, still recovering, but I feel great. Um... Hope you are having a great week, Connie. Thank you. I hope. Hi, Linda. Um, I am having a good week. Um, I had a really great phone call this morning um, with a company that I work with. Um, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> that company. Um, and I got something special in the mail today. Um, oh, it's 531. I can start. Um, hi, welcome. My name is Tracy Weinzapple. Welcome to my studio. Um, if you're watching this in the live, um, red thing is in the corner. That means I'm live. If you're watching it later, that means it's pre-recorded. But either way, it's the same information. So I do, um, what do I do? I do uh, a live free demo. We're going to do an art journal demo today. I already know. I'm going to start and preface this by saying, um, first off, I've been cold. don't know why. Um, and second off, uh, as you may or may not know, depending on where you're watching this from, and if you watch the local news, my alma mater, my beloved, has experienced um, quite the tragedy, Michigan State. Um, I was watching the, they had a visual tonight. So if it seems I'm, I'm a little bit over emotional and just off my rocker, just a tin, tinge, I really have been off since um, that whole situation has gone down. And um, I uh, went to Michigan State. I know exactly where that building is. Um, I watched everything unfold practically live. And I have many uh, a cousin and friends, kids that go to Michigan State. So um, I was kind of beside myself and I haven't recovered. I mean, I, I have two kids in college um, and my daughter called today and said she too has been overly obsessed with it. They've been to Michigan State all their life because I've taken them every year. And I watched the visual, it, the visual, visual. Vigil, not the visual. Um, and it was over emotional for me. I mean, very emotional, not over. It was perfectly emotional for me. And so um, I just want to say, you know, uh, that my heart is, that's where my heart is tonight. Um, I do a live demo every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Sometimes it's mixed media. Sometimes it's in an art journal. Sometimes it's wood. Sometimes it's, you know, Tonight, I actually taped this off last night, um, but I went down that rabbit hole of watching like stuff about Michigan State and I couldn't get out of it. So I had bad nightmares last night. Anyway, I went to Virginia Tech, Elizabeth said, felt the same way, such tragedies. It's so hard when you can put yourself in place of, um, I mean, obviously it's tragic no matter where it happens. But it was so tragic because I could put myself in the place of all those kids and watching them and knowing where they were exactly at and knowing that exact hall that I had classes in. So I felt um, obviously very connected and, um, and, and all around. I just want to say um, today, I watched the vigil. I couldn't be more proud of those kids. Um, watching Coach Izzo. So that's all I want to say about that. So let's return to the good news. So if you're wondering and you're watching, what is this girl going to do in about five or 10 minutes? I really do create from my heart. So um, I'm probably going to use green, white, and teal. 
And the reason is, is because now I'm sweating because I'm wearing this windbreaker. I was outside. So I'm going to take my clothes off. Um, anyway, um, uh, I got happier clothes on. <coughs> Everybody instantly thought of me, which makes me feel so happy that, you know, that's what I was thought of. Anyway, um, and um, I do want to tell you, uh, emails are going out. Uh, I have a um, new video stuff happening. So um, this content, by the way, is available after you watch it. We have videos and stuff that go on my YouTube channel. All right. I did get some happy mail today. It's They are only the first releases. They're not the actual thingermajiggers. They are actual, but I can't, I'm not going to sell these. They're for me. My stamps came in, three of them, three out of the four. So I need to design stuff for uh, a trade show that I'm going to. Um, but I did get this set. I got this set. I will be using them. I will be sharing them. Yes, they'll be for sale. I just have to wait until they're really available because I don't have them. Um, oh, and happy Valentine's Day for those of you. I got flowers. Okay. Sorry, my necklace is stuck and I can't breathe. All right. The next thing I'm going to say is um, <coughs> I should have those. I don't know when I'm going to have them, but I have them to design my stuff. Um, and um, Dare to Be Artsy asked me to take over their Facebook page in March. So I will be doing that as well. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I have to do this. Um, by the way, behind the scenes, um, thank you so much for the lovely email sent to me today. So appreciate it, everyone. So that's Anne typing right now. Anne is my monitor and my behind the scenes gal. So she is here monitoring. So if you have any questions, she is there. Anne, is it your birthday tomorrow? I might be wrong. If you don't know Anne, she's my community ambassador for your artful journey. And she, hopefully she'll say yes. It'll be me saying yes. I hope it's your birthday tomorrow. All right. So this is the next challenge. You guys have been asking me for, I'm getting either a lot of hearts or the fact that it's, maybe it is Anne's birthday tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Anne. Um, anyway, this challenge will be announced next week. The link will be available. If you're a member of your Artful Journey, you don't need to sign up that this is free. So what I did was I created this project, just so you know, okay, I created that. It's all three-dimensional. Okay. Um, if uh, you are interested, you'll probably be offered this. This is using the same materials. So I just wanted to share this. It's a little bit different. It's a hanger. I, I wanted to create something that would be hung together. All right. So that is uh, there as well. Okay, everybody's saying. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this project. I broke it down today and I love it. So I've been getting a lot of questions about why the link isn't out yet. It should be starting February 20th. Is that next Monday? I just found out I have Monday. Uh-oh, it keeps freezing. I, You know what? I changed the quality. I really hope that this doesn't keep up. Otherwise, I'm going to call my internet gods. Okay. Sorry. It keeps freezing. I'll kind of keep an eye. Uh, size of the board, which board, uh, 12 by 12 or eight by eight. Okay. I do keep freezing. I see it. Sorry. I really don't like how it's frozen right now. All right, I apologize. I actually turned the quality down. I am writing myself a big fat note to contact my internet gods, which I should be able to, uh, I'm writing myself a note. It did it last week and I don't know why. All right, um, hopefully that will stop freezing. I'm sorry. You're at the mercy of technology. Of some, but today I turned it down. I went from 1080 down to 720 thinking I probably wouldn't like that different in 720. So um, that is all I have to say about that. It goes over there. 
I pulled out, um, I'm not going to talk about the project right now, Elizabeth, you'll get a complete, um, otherwise I'll go down the rabbit hole of answering those questions. You'll get a complete project list. All right. Yes, the double-edged sword of technology. I, I can't win for trying. All right. Um, there we go. Uh, I, I try so hard. Um, I guess you don't want to see me, but there you go. I already taped this off. Um, somebody was asking me today what is an art journal and you know what i'm going to answer that question it got me thinking especially for those of you who are a member of your artful journey where you have been with me for a little bit of a little bit of a while um so sometimes when i do these free um demos i need to be mindful that some people have never seen art journaling and i do have the group art journaling for beginners um and I air this in there. Um, an art journal to me is some sort of bound or if it's like I use sometimes use a pad of paper, but in some cases it's a bound book. I have several of them behind me that I use utilize as an idea book. It's a diary, a visual diary. Um, and I like to... Um, encourage, empower, inspire, whatever that word is that you'd like me to say, you to do something creative every day. And I know a lot of people cannot, you know, paint the Sistine Chapel or, you know, jumping into a very large canvas looks like a large piece of real estate. So I started art journaling as a means by which to talk about how I feel, um, express how I feel, use different colors, use different products. It's my idea book. It's my safe space. And um, this is my safe space. This is a new one. I don't, um, I'll just kind of open this up. Um, I, I was just playing. This is a different type of paint that I was said, see, it's like, see, it doesn't matter the results, although sometimes it's really cool. And this was last week live. So I did this live. And, um, and I also want to tell people you can travel with your supplies. Um, March, the first Friday of March, I'm going to unpack my travel bag. Um, so I can take my supplies. I just went camping this weekend. I, um, I created in my book, not as much as I wanted to. I slept in, I rested. Um, I didn't fish. I played games. I put a puzzle together with my friends. Um, I put a puzzle together. And then I got super obsessed. Puzzles are not for people who have ADHD or OCD because you're obsessed until they're done. So I couldn't literally leave the RV until that freaking puzzle was done. But um, every week I like to do a small demo, feature some products. This was... Oh. This was created with your artful journey last Friday. There we go. I know who they are. Members of your artful journey. If you're interested, I can give you information about that. And this I taped off last night and then I went down the TikTok rabbit hole. Couldn't get out of it. So we're going to use this page. All I did was take some painter's tape and line the edges. That's all I've done so far. Nothing magic. Um, last week, we were, were <coughs> I've been mixing it up on you. Last week, we worked in watercolors. These are watercolors, believe it or not. Um, the week before, we worked on wood and mixed media. I think I only have three more of these surfaces if you want the buy, to buy them. Okay. This is wood. Um, so, here's that. And I think I answered that question. All right. So that's what an art journal is. And tonight I am going to do what I think is going to be mixed media. I'm going to do acrylic paint, but I'm going to gesso this. It's a watercolor book. I used um, a lot of times I use um, um, mixed media paints or watercolors. So tonight I'm mixing it up. I'm just going to use acrylic paints off of this wall. In fact, because I kind of said I'm going to use green and white, now I might have to go get my white once I have some here. Yeah, eh, I have some here. Do I have white here? 
<laughs> All right, let's pick a good green. Let's pick a good green. Leaf green? I need white. I know where it is. I gotta grab it. It's in my bin. Unless it's here. Just so titanium white. Oh, I get this. Let's see if this works. No, that's translucent white. I want the real deal. I don't want texture medium, gloss medium, matte medium. Okay. Really? Really? Hold on. Let me just grab it. Let me just grab it. <coughs> So what I do when I cre create the project for our challenge, I put it in a bin. So that's what's over there. All right. I just grabbed like white, green. I'll probably end up in some Prussian blue hue kind of thing. Do I have Prussian blue hue? It's probably in this bin. Yeah. All right. So I grabbed, I, I don't want to force you to do a green and white. Um, nobody, at, oh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So, oh, how did I just do that? Exit full screen. Okay. Um, I don't want to force you to do a green and white because that would just be atrocious. <laughs> or my school colors weren't exactly the best colors in the Hawaii. I, I love them. Go green, go white. But um, all right. Let me grab this. But da, 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 da. I like to take a time lapse of all the fun that we're having. So I'm going to do that. All right. And we're going to begin. It is 547. It is time to record. All right. So I'm going to grab some gesso, just some plain white gesso. Even though this is watercolor paper, I am going to gesso this because it just feels so good. It's a great practice and I wanna prime this piece of paper. Oh, you're loving all the 3D stuff. Okay, well that means a lot to me because I just keep switching things up and doing things. Are we still freezing up? I hope not. I really hope not. All right, so let's just start by I guess if I'm freezing now, it doesn't matter because I probably won't have a double chin. I've, I've been mixing it up. I'm, I'm excited. I'm trying to think of what our, your Artful Journey Live, Creative Live project is going to be. <coughs> okay, good. We're, we're working. All right. So I just took a flat brush. This is gesso. And by the way, when we do the challenge, I give you a complete set of supplies. I kind of tell you where to get things. I tell you to use your favorite colors. Look at, could I possibly put that gesso any further up the brush? No. No, I like to just. All right, we seem to be fine. Now, normally I would dry this, but I don't think I'm going to dry this. I'm going to use this. Ooh, I'm going to use this same brush. I'm going to cover my gesso. Remember what I told you about this? So this step will save you so much in life. Take a baby wipe. Every time you use anything like a medium or a gesso, this is the deco art gesso. It's like a vat of gesso. But every time you use it, wipe off the top with a baby wipe. I know some people say like olive oil. That's I'm not doing any of that business. I don't have Vaseline or baby oil running around in here or whatever. Actually, I do have baby oil in here. Um, but I don't want anything to contaminate this. So I'm using gesso. By the way, don't panic. If you can't find my supply list, I do, um, I do uh, list that all on my blog. Okay. All right, seems to be working for me. All right. Now I'm debating big white flowers made with a big fat Sharpie or something a little softer with like little flowers 
sprinkled down the middle and some sort of fun background. I don't know why this helps me, but I guess it knows. I guess you know that I'm not frozen. I'm kind of feeling this way. All right. And I don't even know what colors. I picked out leaf green, cobalt, turquoise hue. And don't worry, this any teal will work. I can go up there and see if I have one that might make you happy. Oh, how about peacock teal? Oh, am I out of this? Oh, I'm out of that. What is this one? Desert turquoise? You're the winner. Oh, I love baby wipes. They are like the bomb. All right, and I'm going to grab a palette. I also probably keep the Dollar Tree or the Dollar 25 tree in business because little flowers and fun backgrounds. Yes. Okay. Well, there we go. Now, I'm, I didn't even let this dry, which is not a big deal. I'm going to use Snow White. I saw somebody on a TikTok video and it was like every painter's delight. And it was so true. You know, removing this little dry piece. I know. That is like... That is my little delight. And I am using DecoArt Americana paints. Now, I did say I'm going to use green and white, so I'm not going to lie. Because here's, oh, I got to make sure these are, sh shake it up. Okay. Yep. There we go. I don't know what color that is. Leaf green. I'm going to put these all upside down. Desert turquoise. This used to be on the back of my business card. This was my favorite. Oh, let's see. Nope, I don't have one of those to peel away. Okay, and then I do have a little bit of Prussian blue if I need that later. But I don't think I need that now. I'm kind of not coughing. So I'm oh, you know what I need? Sorry, one more thing. I like. This is like one of those colors I've used since I started painting. And you'll probably be able to tell it's Irish moss. I hope this is not one. Your Artful Journey members, I asked a very special favor. Can you go in the group and look at the very pinned top message? I could use your help. Okay. So let's just begin. I'm going to stay with this sloppy old brush. Ooh, I dumped some of it on here. <coughs> yeah, I'm doing white on white. Don't ask me why I'm doing that. Just, just trust the process here. I am going to do, 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 do. Ooh, I just thought of how this would look cooler and I don't have a paper towel in here, but I have a baby wipe. So that, that would be fine. Okay. I'm kind of keeping the white flowing. So I kind of said like down this middle, will be little flowers. I don't know if they're going to be little flowers or not, or if I'm just going to splatter a bunch of color, but I'm going to come in here and that white is just going to keep going back and forth. Like, you know, I'm going to keep, I don't know, until I'm happy. Like, we're just going to do this until you're happy. I love that Irish mosh green. I like the leafy green. I'm loving all the greens. Um, I'm loving the teal. I'm loving this color combo. So I'm nothing about this is upsetting me. It's an homage to my green and white. It is actually a little, see, and I just keep working the white back in because I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's what I love about acrylic paint because it's just like, I could just pick four or five colors and be done. Like that could be, oh, and then I'm going to, oh. Here's what I say when I, I start to paint this. I said, it would be mostly green. What am I doing? It's mostly teal. So let's, yeah. So let's just keep mixing up colors. And by the way, those paint companies love when you use the colors that you buy because you've been hoarding them for so long. Let's get them off the shelf, shake them up, and use them. Okay? Shake them up use them. Now, here's what I was saying about kind of softening things up a bit, which I don't have a paper towel, but I also would like, 
I don't have a paper towel, but that would be handy. I only have a baby wipe. I guess I could go get a paper towel, but that would take effort. And then, so I'm just going to squish, squidgy this up. Okay. And then I'm going to come in here and, you know, I don't think squidgy is a word, but it could be. Okay. Now, if I want to add more color, I can come in here and just dip my, you know, stuff in here. I was kind of thinking about having some like stuff running down this. I'm not convinced I don't have it happening yet, but you see how I have like this, I don't know. Is anybody hoping it's spring? We're getting like frost right now. I shouldn't complain. I live in Southern California. It's sunny, so I'm not Tonight's going to be like 28. Hey, tell me, you keep the official dictionary of words that I improperly use, don't you? How do we get water? How do we? Yeah, we're going to have to. Okay. Oh, I got to be having to talk with the internet gods. Now, I'm, I'm putting a drip towel because this is what I like to do. And then I'm going to hope it works because this is what happens when I get an idea and then I decide maybe it wasn't the best idea. But, ooh, who said hi today of six? That sounds horrible. Oh, I don't have very much water. Okay, I'm going to water down. My acrylic paints they're, ba they're they're based in water so don't worry okay and then i'm going to put them up here with lots of water okay don't worry just water those bad boys up okay don't trust me problem is we're gonna get frost frost is the enemy does anybody think this is gonna work if it doesn't work it doesn't work it's not like the end of the world i like to play and I'm going to take a magic squeeze bottle and drippy drew. Come on, move. Oh, oh, there we go. We have movement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't need it to be like totally horrendous. Like this didn't move at all. Come on, move, move down. Move down. I, I told you to move down. Oh, and then. Wait a minute. Upstate, you know, you know, oh, you guys were higher than we were today. Well, I don't think, I think we were cold today. I, I shouldn't compare weather because for on the norm, yeah, we're pretty good. I know I shouldn't compare weather. All right. See, it's not bad. I love movement. Me too. Good movement, not bad movement. Okay. Whoa. Kind of what I said, and I kind of wanted through here to be a little more splitchy, splishy, splotchy, but we'll just see what happens. And I'm just kind of drying this off. I don't really care how my art journal ends up at the bottom of the page, but it's just going to come right off there. All right. Kind of like that. I don't know about you, but I kind of like that. And now, right through the middle, kind of want this to dry like this. Right through the middle, I want to add like little flowers and little dots, but not like, I don't want literal flowers. I want more like I'm going to splatter the flowers in there, but it's like right through here. Let me see where I'm going with this or am I delusional? Yeah, I, I might be delusional, but let's try it. Let's just wipe this down. Let the, I bet you, uh, you like the look. Okay, good. Oh, love the look. Abstract. I, I don't want, yeah, I don't want to, like, put a lot of thought into this. I mean, of course I want to put a lot of thought into this. <coughs> I'm sorry for the coughing. So here's the thing. I can look back in my art journal. I can tell you the day Prince died. I can tell you about my birthday and um, 
one year that was like not so great. And I can look back in my art journals. And the good news is I still have the mental capacity to do it. Now, maybe that won't happen one day. Um, and I understand that. Uh, but I now can still look back at my pages. And that's why I say that this is kind of a diary of where I'm at. I really wish I had that paper towel, but I'm going to still chance this. Also, I'm going to throw this thing in the water. I want to make sure that through here, I get like a um, darker green. And then along my edges will be like a Prussian blue. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to be splattering some paint. I might cover up over here. Um, I'm just going to. I, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, I know it's still wet. Kelly, we're just, we're just going for it. I know it's wet. This is why I say your art journal is like the best space to create in because now, if you wanted to take this to a larger space or say a mural, you've already got the foundation built. Okay, and now we're gonna come in here because, you know, well, I really wish this was a paper towel, but of course I don't add, I don't put paper towel in my studio. I'm just using the rest of the paint now. Oh, well, now I'm just making a mess is what I'm doing. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, I meant, oh, my son's calling me. Sorry, I'm busy. Hold on. I got to say, um, go away. How do you set, tell somebody to go away? Hold on. Joey, I'm live on the internet. I'll call you back. Okay, babe. Is it an emergency? Love you. Bye. <laughs> okay. I did. I don't think I hit record anyway, so that's all right. Sorry. Mother of the year. I'm definitely running for it. Uh, if, if it's an emergency, I would be there. All right. No, I, uh, drying the wet white for me wouldn't have the same as effect as it, the paper towel. I, I know. Sorry. If you guys need mothering advice, that was, but I can usually tell in his voice right away if it's like, you know, mom, I need you. And all right. I kind of like that though. Now, how are we going to get flowers in here? Let's just make a mess. Um, paper towel for me has a different effect. Now I am going to. I'm going to like gently, oh, I don't have to put a wet thing on there, do I? Do I? If you're looking for mothering advice, I am your girl. <laughs> I love it. My kids call me every day. So he's, on my, that's my second call to him today. Or he's gotten called me already. All right. Now, here we go. There we go. Now remember, I told you I don't want to have these literal flowers. I want to have. <coughs> All right. So let's grab um, just grab like flowery colors like magenta and, you know, I don't know, purples and pinks and whatever. Yellow. Remember, I'm telling you nothing. Oh, God, this is not even going to open. And it's empty. You know. Tracy needs to literally go through her colors because I don't have anything that is like, all right, this will work. Now, first off, we're going to splatter some white paint because that'll give us some like cool effects. But I was thinking like, um, I guess if it's your first time watching, you're going to be like, okay, I really don't like this finger color. I'm just grabbing pinks. This one is wild berry. <coughs> I mean, I was just thinking like put my finger in it. Is that a good idea? Yeah, there we go. I mean, I got to grab a Q-tip. I don't care. Oh, that's, that was too much. Okay. Well, okay. Um, grab a Q-tip. <laughs> Uh, the other thing I would grab is I have these like little cool little, well, the end of your paintbrush is always good. Oh, I have these little things. I don't want them to be, I really do want to use, I'm going to try my finger. I don't, I have all long fingernails. It's really bad. So, okay. So I'm just going to like, okay, I'm just going to come in here and 
I know I am not, this is like, I don't expect anybody to stay who has never seen me. They're going to be like, what? All right. Orange, uh, orange. I'm not a big orange person, but I think feel like that would be a good mix in here. If you have any flat, oh, here we go. <laughs> if you have a pencil, okay, ready? If you have a pencil, I know they recommend you put acrylic paint on your eraser. I don't want these to be, remember we talked about this. I don't want these to be like a bunch of literal flowers, like, oh, these all have to be perfect. No, no, no. That's not how I roll. That's not. I'm going to splatter some paint in here. I'm going to probably splatter all these colors in here. Okay. That's the end of a paintbrush. You can use the end of a paintbrush. You can, yeah, I just want. I think now with the way I'm feeling, see, I'm just mixing the colors um, in the way um, life is. Oh, Q-tips are great too. I, I have those in my drawer. But I really want to just splatter the paint. That's more my role. Like here, if this were me, which it is me, I would take a fan brush. Oh, here it is. Wet the fan brush. I would go in here. Oh, I would take that same pencil that I just had. Are you ready? Boo, 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 boo. Oh, wait, splatter, splatter, splatter. Don't do that. More water, more water, more water. That's all you got to need. I love a good fan situation. Like I said, I didn't want these to be literal flowers. I really wanted it to be like, hey. And too many people forget to have free. Oh, God, I'm wearing a new shirt that I'm splattering all over. And the reason I'm kind of keeping it in this middle part is, um, oh, Marcia said, oh, my God, I totally forgot to watch the video. It's okay, Marcia. I'm going a little nutty tonight. Um, no, I have to have my pyrrole red because I don't do art without it, it seems. Again, I'm going to throw some primary red or pyrrole red. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Now, if you're looking to make flowers, there's they also make these cool tools. I should give a link to these. These are great if you do mandalas or mandala. What the heck are those things called? Somebody give me a name. See, there's these things. Okay, I'll, I'll use them all. Hold on. Whatever those things are, these things. Okay. Okay, I don't know what they're called. I'll give you a link. You know, people are like, oh, my God. See, watch. Like, if you want to make perfect little dots, and they go quite small, but I'm just not that person. Again, I told you, yeah, these are dotting tools. Man, how do you say that word? I don't want to. Okay. Now, you know, I said... That's how you, yeah, that's how you, yeah, see, you guys are spelling it, but I don't know how to say it. All right, see? Okay. And they make them really small. What's the smallest one? Like, this guy is really small. But, I mean, okay. You see what I was saying, though? I really just wanted it to be, just, okay. Okay. I know. And then, I mean, we got to have some, ooh, why don't we just take that same tool? I need a darker green. I need a darker green, like a, da, 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 da. um, forest green? Sure. Forest green seems good. 
Forest green, like I just want to like come in here. Oh, I should have shook this. Shake it up. Oh, oh, shake it up. Sorry, I just get going and I. Do you ever just go in and just experiment and not worry about the outcome? Now, I do want this to dry and I, I do want to throw some white splotchy ruse in here. It's going to probably. I mean, I just want this to be full of fun. That's it. Okay. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Enjoying this so much. Oh, Barbara. I think she was doubtful at the beginning. But see what I'm saying? I, I, I had a vision. I just didn't know. And I, I like to do this, you know. I try to direction where this is going, but that doesn't happen. Okay. And then I'm going to do some more white in there. And then I'm going to... Prussian blue hue this, but it's kind of got to dry. I know I got a lot going on here. I told you at the beginning, the space in which I was creating from was a bit of an emotional space. <coughs> Excuse me. So for those of you who have your wits about you all the time, I'm a very emotional person. I don't really show it much. In fact, it's not my strong suit valentine's day not so much um but if you're my friend you pretty much knew that when i am creating and especially i talked to you about the emotional situation that i have been feeling this is where i go with it and there's nothing wrong with coming in here and it's only what it's only what if you're a member of your artful journey what is this it's only a Somebody please say it. Somebody please say it. Ah, oh, I love white. Thank you very much. If this goes wrong, ooh, whoops. Ooh, oh well. Bing, bum, 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 bum. Okay. Now I probably should. What the heck is that? It's only a piece of paper. So if this all goes wrong, I wasted, and I didn't waste it, I experienced the process of just getting out my feelings or learning a new technique. Yeah, see, all you got to do is just hide that. It's a, just a piece of paper. Now, if I have to mail you a piece of paper because yours went wrong. Now, see how I told you? They're not little, they're not literal flowers. Well, we do have to dry this because there's a lot of water involved and I literally feel like some of my flowers are going to roll right off the page. But this kind of looks like... Um... <laughs> Virginia said, I never should have doubt you, but um, <laughs> I was doubting myself. So there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of stuff happening. I probably could do a lot more like up here and make it like thicker, but I won't bore you. I just, even if you just experience something that gets your emotions out or, you know, tonight I will always think of this dearly because it was something that was very emotional for me. Um, but it doesn't have to be the Sistine Chapel. It can be a diary. It can be a note. It can be a, I'm still looking at it and wondering if I've lost my mind, but if I have, it's. I guess in a positive direction. Kathy says, interesting. <laughs> Kath, Kath, uh, Kathy, just so you know, a lot of times we do paint literal things. Um, I can show you last week. But I just wanted to have a little fun. I did. And I kind of knew it would get a little nutty uh, just because of the way I was feeling. And th that's there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Yeah, I love finger painting. If I can encourage people to. Oh, my God. Megan said this is one of my favorites. Oh, I don't know. I still have time to mess it up, guys. The reason I say that is it's not necessarily about. You know. I hope I got that point across. 
Uh, today, I had a very nice discussion with some very fine artists, some DIYers, some crafters. And let me tell you, I don't know what space I fit in, but I feel like with you guys, and I can do this on a Wednesday, and I can say to you, I would encourage you to use the supplies that you have been amassing. I just want you guys to know that, you know, yes, this is fine art. No, I mean, I'm using a styrofoam tray for heaven's sakes, but it is something that means a lot to me. And I am very happy that we share it together. And it means something to all of you guys as well. Or it's just something that you give a go. Now I'm going to grab that Prussian blue hue. Oh, I don't really have a lot of room on this. Um, I have a ton of room on this. Ready? So drip drip, drip. Okay. Now, um, I recommend a, it's like a course or a, um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry about this cough. Something that is really coarse. Um, keep it dry, dry brush, like something like this, a chipboard brush. I, I of course I don't have a lot of them. I used to have like a million of them, but they're all disappeared. This is Prussian blue. Okay. And I'm going, this is all dry by the way. Okay. This is, this whole thing is dry. Um, eventually I do peel the paint off by the way. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm dry brushing this off. See, I'm the majority of that is going to be brushed off because I'm going to come in here. It's hard to tell where my edges are with this paint, but I'm going to come in here and a lot of like Prussian blue goes perfect with this. But again, you don't want to like, you don't want to go like crazy man on it. You just want to, and I, I mostly want it like down here. Okay. I mean, you know, it can be in here. I'm just gonna swipey up, swipey up. I don't need it to be, I think this is one of the most abstract things I've done. I don't know, maybe. Okay. Now I don't need to go overboard. I like the movement that's still in here. And I'm trying to get that to go up, but it's not. All right. Well, don't force it. I don't know. You know, I'm kind of cool with it. I'm, I'm kind of. Now, yes, we do literal stuff. So for those of you who thought, oh my God, she's give me another. Give me another chance. Okay, we're going to remove the tape. What time is it? 6.17? Remember, this is a free demo. Ooh. What the what? Okay, we'll, 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 we'll survive. You know what? It accomplished exactly what I wanted it to accomplish. That is exactly the space... I wanted to create in. And I am going to write my name on it because I'm okay with that. Okay. All right. Lisa Larson says, I can't wait to get home and paint this. Um, the more you let it go, let it go. I kind of had this in my brain. I didn't know if it would pan out, but it seemingly did. All right, so let's do this. Oh, sometimes I feel like I just ran a marathon after we're done. Um, here it is. Cool thing is, depending on how thick those flowers are, it'll be really cool. All right, now remember, this is a quickie demo. This is a half an hour to an hour. We created an art journal page. In your artful journey with my membership, we deep dive, we study things, we use materials for more than five minutes. Um, that is something different. Now, make sure to wash all your brushes. Um, where are we at next week? Is it February? Yes. 
I'm live next Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. I want to thank you for creating this in the space that I was in. Um, a lot of people tell, oh, my God, I'm keeping this. Um, hold on. I got to write this down. Oh, can I show this? Can I show this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I am required by my team to name things. Ooh, 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 I got to get a piece of paper and my trash can. Um, Tracy's Garden of Delights. I don't like naming anything. So I'm going to have you guys start doing it, and that's what we're going to do. Okay? Um, I was very honest about the space that I was creating within. Um, I probably painted on myself tonight, but um, my team is asking me to name my paintings. Um, thank you, Lisa Larson. Lisa, go into the group, please. And um, I asked for testimonials. Would you give one? I would like to interview you. All right. So done. Don't forget to sign your artwork. Um, hopefully the internet got, internet gods were good to us and I'm still here, but I will photograph this. My, um, I've got, I've got, uh, now my team takes this and they make uh, instructions that go on my blog with the materials list, screenshots, and the video is uploaded to YouTube. So this is all available to you after the fact. Okay. Um, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and shoot them over to support at your artful journey.com. Um, I want to say a special happy birthday. Hold on. I'm looking for the banner. By the way, if you want to send, um, happy birthdays to support at your artful journey.com tomorrow, you can, um, address those to Anne. I would love to fill, fill her emails up. She loves when that is filled up and um, she does, trust me. So if you ever need to get a hold of me, she'll get that information to me as well. And of course, uh, you can always reach me uh, anywhere. I'm all over the worldwide crazy web. All right, so fun and nice emotional dump to feel so good. I know that was an emotional dump. I guess that was how I was feeling. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you, Anne, as always, for moderating and be there for all of us. Um, and that's where sometimes the space we're in. I'm so honest about that. I get a lot of people who ask me, where is the supply list? Um, before I begin, the supply list is here, here, here in my gut. Um, I will go back to, you know, using the watercolors and staying in that space. But I love that the world is our creative oyster and I can use just about anything. And I thank you guys for uh, just joining me and all of that. All right. I will see you next Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Mark your calendar. Oh, I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to share. People are asking me if I made a lucky banner or some sort of banner for St. Patrick's Day. It's already done. There it is. You can buy that off my website. The other thing is, don't forget, March 13th through the 16th is the next art, uh, art challenge. You'll be able to sign up for that next week. And we're going to make it the biggest challenge. I have ever done. And also I'm doing a giveaway of one of each of my new stamps in that week before they release. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, and I hope you know that's okay. Debbie, I love it when she says it's Tracy time. Thank you. I feel the love. I always do feel the love and really what you put out, you get tenfold back. Have a wonderful evening and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Talk to y'all soon.